considered one of Milwaukee's finest. Eric Koch, big fight Saturday night, taking on Dustin Poirier. First things first, though, how are you feeling? Because you've been off for a very long time. Uh, I'm feeling good. Uh, I've been dieting well and, you know, weight cuts going according to plan. And feel sharp, man. Feel ready to go. Ready to go and get in there and, uh, you know, beat Dustin Poirier. Last time you and I connected, we were in a helicopter over, over Calgary and heading up to the mountains. Uh, you were very calm. This is a different Eric Koch right now. You're already amped, and we're still a few days away from the fight. How excited are you to finally get in there and have the referee step out of the way? Uh, I'm pumped, man. It's, uh, it's been a long time coming, especially with, with this opponent. You know, lit a fire under my butt just because he's been talking a lot of smack. You know, I'm not a smack talker, but I'm going to go in there and I'm going to talk with my fists. So uh, I'm excited, man. Can't wait till Saturday. Dustin Poirier, a fellow legit contender at 145, uh, but I'm sure you want to make a statement because you mentioned that the trash talk has been driving you nuts. Other than a victory, what's your perfect fight on Saturday night? Knockout, man. Knockout bonus. I don't. I want a knockout, but I want it to be an awesome knockout, and I want it to be, you know, the bonus. Obviously, get a little more money. Now, I pegged your fight with Dustin as an early candidate for fight of the night, but there's also that main event. Your teammate, Anthony Pettis, is finally getting crack at a lightweight title, or at least a UFC title. He's taking on Ben Henderson. He's the only guy to defeat Ben Henderson in a title fight. How do you see that fight unfolding? Uh, same way. I see Anthony uh, beating him and frustrating him, and I, I don't think Ben's going to be able to take him down. I think Ben knows he has to take him down. Um, and he's not going to be able to. I think uh, Anthony's in his head, and Anthony's coming for the title. And one, uh, one last question about a teammate, Ben Askren, obviously he's the Bellator champ. Uh, lots of talk of him potentially coming to the UFC, but we all know how things unfold behind the scenes. If you could make a prediction, do you think Ben Askren will be in the Ultimate Fighting Championship soon? Uh, I hope so. I can just say I hope so. I think he'll, he'll bring a, 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 cool, a cool new thing to the welterweight division just with his attitude and his style. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I'm hoping so. I can only hope. And I have an open invitation uh, to come train at your gym uh, with Duke Rufus. You're there. Anthony's there. Giuseppe Di Natale from Winnipeg. Uh, the Godfather will be there. Any advice you have for me before I uh, take the suit off and uh, put some gear on? Have a mouth guard <laughs> and uh, all headgear. Mouth guard and headgear. They go at it pretty hard. You think I'll be able to show up to work uh, next week? I'm not going to promise you anything. Eric Koch taking on Dustin Poy Saturday night UFC 164.